Hey everybody, it's Paul, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a wine kit. This is gonna be a three-part video. So this is part one. We're gonna shoot part two where we're taking it out of the pail, putting it into the carboy and degassing it, and then part three where we bottle it. So this is the first step to making pretty much any wine kit. Today we're making a uh, Grand Cru International Cabernet Franc. Uh, this is a limited edition one. But the instructions for pretty much every wine kit is gonna be very similar to this. So you'll need obviously a wine kit, uh, a primary fermenter. I like using these translucent pails. They have volume markings on the side. So when you're at, topping up the water, it's easy to see where you're at. You'll need for your secondary, a carboy. It could be glass or plastic, doesn't matter. Some clean water. You can use your tap water, but I would suggest filtering it just to get out the chlorine or at the very least using like um, a Camden tablet or something like that, just to get the chlorine out. And then of course, we need to make sure our equipment is clean and sanitized. I use Diversol or the pink powder for cleaning. I'll soak my equipment in this for an hour or two, rinse it really well, and then use Star San as a no rinse sanitizer. And I've been using this combo for years and it works great and it's not very expensive. So let's go ahead and see what our wine kit all comes with here. So it'll come with our varietal grape juice some instructions. Not every kit will include this, but this comes with some oak chips and just a muslin bag to put the oak chips in. And then the standard stuff that comes with pretty much every wine kit will be yeast. Can't make wine without yeast. Some sulfite, some bentonite, some sorbate, and then once the wine has been fermented, racked over and degassed, we'll put in kiesel and cheetah sand. This will clear the wine up really well. So we will start by obviously all this equipment clean and sanitized. We're not gonna need this today, so I'll get it out of the way. Same with our cleaner and sanitizer. We're gonna go ahead and add about four liters of water into the fermenter. and we will stir in the bentonite. I've never had issues, but if you find your bentonite is not mixing into the water very well, uh, you can try using like warm water as opposed to room temperature but I've never had issues just doing it with room temperature water. There we go, that's nicely mixed. Next, we will take our bladder with our grape juice. One thing I'll mention real quick, getting the cap off isn't super hard, but using a tool that's made for it makes it way easier. So we sell something made by the vintage shop called two-in-one tool. This will make getting the cap off real easy. Uh, but also, when you wanna put shrink caps on your bottles, when you go to dip this into the boiling water, that'll hold it in place, dip it into the boiling water, and you're done. And these things are cheap, I don't even, like eight bucks or something like that. So let's get our cap off. Make sure you're pulling up. If it's like this and you take the cap off, it's gonna, juice is gonna go flying everywhere and it's gonna stain. There you go, nice and easy. Then we're gonna pour this in. Most wine kits are gonna make 23 liters. And what separates, let's say, a, a cheaper $50, $60 wine kit from, let's say, one like this that's around 80 or from the even higher end ones that are 130 is how much juice it comes with. So this one comes with, I think, eight or nine liters. Some of the lower end ones will only be four or five, and some of the higher end ones will be like 16. Some people will put some water in here to rinse it out, but there's just, there's not enough juice in there to make it worthwhile in my opinion. Let's put the cap back on, just so this doesn't leak all over the place. And then we will top it up to 23 liters. 
with some good clean water. I'm gonna add in the oak chips that it comes with. Again, not all wine kits will include this. If you're making a wine kit that doesn't have oak chips, they can be purchased separately. There's all sorts of different kinds as well. Uh, American, France, they range from lightly toasted to heavily toasted, depending on what sort of flavor you wanna add to your wine. And we'll just tie that end. It's gonna wanna float, so I'm gonna just mix it in here. There, we got a good amount of wine juice through those chips. That looks good. I'm gonna give it one more stir. And I'm gonna go get my hydrometer. We're gonna take a hydrometer reading. All right, so I'm gonna take our clean and sanitized hydrometer, just put it right in the pail. See if I can get that towards the camera. All right, so it looks like it's about 1.090 or 1.088, somewhere right around there. So we're gonna write that down. And the reason we do this is when we go to bottle, we'll take another reading and using the starting uh, gravity and the final gravity, you can calculate how much uh, alcohol is in your wine. So I'm gonna write that down somewhere. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna sprinkle on our yeast. A lot of kits come with Lalvin EC1118 but yours may vary. I like to pitch two packs of yeast. You don't have to, but I just find it uh, just helps with the cleaner fermentation. But you're totally fine just pitching the one it comes with. And you just wanna sprinkle this over the top of the must of your grape juice here. Try to get it all over. And that's pretty much it. Put on your pail lid. If your pail does not have an airlock, that's fine. Just don't clamp it all the way down or else while it's fermenting, CO2 will build up and it'll pop your lid off. You're gonna wanna make sure that your um, airlock is filled with uh, I used Star Sand sanitizer or some people use vodka. Uh, I don't recommend water, bacteria can grow in there. But that's pretty much it. We're gonna let this sit and ferment between 20 and 25 Celsius for two weeks. And then at that point, we'll have our next video where we rack it into the carboy and degas it. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video and wanna see more content like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much, cheers.